This is The Gaming Rep, and today we're going to be diving into the world of Subnautica, Below Zero. Okay guys, so in this video we're going to have a look at some of the technology that we can find on uh, the island uh, where we're based. We're also going to have a look at how to get to the other side of the island. It's a bit like the uh, chicken crossing the road, and it's how do we get to the other side. So this is the Snow Fox, the hover bike that you can find. It's quite simple, basically you point it in the direction you want to go, you press forward, you turn using the mouse. It's not overly responsive, so don't expect it to turn instantly. Um, I've managed to crash it a few times, and it takes like that. It takes serious damage. One hit knocks out almost 20% of its uh, health, so you need to be careful with it. On the bright side, once you park it back on the pad, uh, the landing pad for it by uh, my base it will repair and recharge itself so thankfully it's not a major problem the bonus with this is obviously you can travel across the ice a lot faster and as you can see looking at my temperature on the temperature gauge you don't get cold um, so it's great for keeping warm uh, the thermal vents by me just there again will keep you fairly warm so that's a useful thing to be using Next one's going to be the spy penglings. If you see one of those little control boxes with a flashy light next to it, that means there's somewhere that a penguin can explore. So pop it on the floor, move, get the remote control and right click, and then you've got control of the penguin. And again, controls are quite simple. WASD um, for moving. You can use E to exit out of it, but just bear in mind if you do that with a penguin too far away, you probably won't get control of it again and Q to self-destruct, so you can actually move it up to stuff and blow it up. Not necessarily the best of options, but yes, you know, it, it, it's there. Teacher. Downside of the pengling, it can only carry four items at a time. So if you're trying to clear out an area like this that's got more than that, you need to make several trips. Um, they're quite natty little uh, devices, they'll get into the small case for you. They can also creep up on the predators around here. You need uh, fur from the main predator in the area. And if you go anywhere near it, it just attacks you. If you kill it, you can't get anything from its body. You need to use the pengling to get the fur. And we'll cover that in a different video. So let's pick the little guy up. Okay, come on. Ah, of course, yeah, I've got to empty him out first. jump on the uh, snow fox hover bike and we'll head back to the base to drop off some of my resources and then we're going to have a look at as i say how we get across to the other side of the um, island now there is uh, a bridge there but the bridge as you'll see when you're swimming in if you're on the surface is broken so we need to try and figure out how to uh, fix the bridge so that's going to be one of our next missions. Word of advice to anybody that knows me in real life, do not let me drive a motorbike because I'm dreadful. If this is anything to go by. So here we go. We'll come in and crash on the uh, hover pad. So, so that will now start uh, recharging and repairing the bike. So that, that's a bonus. You don't have to repair it yourself. Um, and it doesn't, I think, drain your base's power at all. Um, I think the base does need to be powered, but it doesn't drain it.
So while we were inside, I dropped some bits and pieces off in the storage chests in there. Um, mostly to clear up some space, just in case I find anything up here. So this is the approach to the bridge, and it's nice and easy to get to. It's a straight run up, really. Um, there's a couple of supply crates off to the side. You may find items in those. And basically what we're looking to do is uh, find out how we can open the bridge. Now I do know there's a control panel here, but of course it's not going to be quite that easy. Um, as you can see, there's flashing red warning lights and there's a ruptured hydraulic fluid container. So what we need to do is actually create a hydraulic fluid container, put it into there and then we can open the bridge properly to be able to cross to the other side. Um, I'm going to get back in the warm and actually see what the requirements are properly. But if I remember correctly, it's a lubricant from either lubricants or the um, creep vine bulbs. And I think it's gel sacs which are used to help levitate things. If that's the case, I've got a bit of an expedition to do, um, which will be possibly the next video. Because uh, they are a pain in the neck to get hold of and to uh, find. At this stage, Ed. Anyway. Let's have a look. Okay, so let's go up. We're on blueprints. Scroll up. And there we are. Hydraulic fluid. Creep fine seed cluster and four gel sacks. So yeah, next video we're going to be going to have a look for those. Then I'm going to head back to my base now. Um, as you can see, where I'm dropping off beacons at various locations to mark where I've been to, where I'm going, what I'm doing. The beacons are absolutely essential. Um, what I am going to do is be renaming some of them. Um, which I'll show you in the next video. Most of the ones at the moment are on the surface, so it doesn't really matter whether you can uh, know what depth you need to go to or not. They're at the surface or within a couple of metres of it, such as the docks and so on. Some of them, though, such as uh, the excuse me, emergency signal and things like that, are at a greater depth. So what I'm going to be doing is the beacons, where I'm going to deeper areas, I'll be actually putting the depth on there so you know what sort of equipment you need to get to it. Well that's it for this video. Thanks very much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video when we'll be exploring a bit more of Subnautica Below Zero.